In Jeopardy's 47-year history, there has never been a contestant like Watson. With 15 terabytes of random access memory, the IBM supercomputer has gobbled up encyclopedias, dictionaries, books, news, movie scripts, and more. Why? To beat these guys, for one. Ken Jennings won a record 74 consecutive Jeopardy games. Brad Rutter has earned more than $3 million in prize money. But Watson isn't in it necessarily for the prize money from the real matches planned for next month. IBM says the technology could help speed up medical diagnosis and other challenging computer tasks. So how does it work? It's a massively parallel probabilistic evidence-based architecture. That's a mouthful. But the way to think about it is it's taking that clue, it's taking that category, it's taking the surrounding clues in that category, it's dissecting it and understanding it from many different dimensions. Watson, Rudder, and Jennings played a demo round for the press, and Watson didn't hold back. Uh, I've never said this on TV. Chicks dig me for 200. <laughs> Kathleen Kenyon's excavation of this city mentioned in Joshua showed the walls had been repaired 17 times. Watson. What is Jericho? Correct. 400, same category. This mystery author and her archaeologist hubby dug in hopes of finding the lost Syrian city of Urkesh. Watson? Who is Agatha Christie? Correct. For Jennings, playing Jeopardy is old hat. But does playing against something that's the size of ten refrigerators give him pause? I did not play Watson until this morning. You know, until an hour ago, I had never picked up a buzzer against Watson. And uh, it turns out to be like playing a very good human player. It, uh, it knows its stuff. To, you know, to get on the stage, you got to know your stuff. But, um, but it can be beat, both on the buzzer and on the clues, it turns out. Uh, if you're a betting man, do, do you, uh, you bet on yourself? I don't know if there's a Vegas line, but always bet on humanity. Rutter didn't let on like he was the least bit intimidated. Uh, I think there's a little bit uh, of uh, having to strike the blow for humanity against the machines uh, going on here. Uh, but um, from the rehearsals we've done um, in the gameplay, Watson is pretty much just a really good Jeopardy player. So it's, it's kind of the same thing, but I guess there is a little extra pressure uh, having to represent the humans against the machines. Host Alex Trebek isn't intimidated by the processing power either. He has seen all kinds of contestants take the stage. I think the most intriguing thing about this uh, challenge on Jeopardy featuring Watson and two of our best players ever is where do we go from here? How do we follow this? But I'm sure that within a couple of years or so, we'll figure something out. Indeed they will, unless, of course, Watson figures it out first. Rossinson, The Associated Press.